Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota, beautiful Nashville. Um, definitely wanted to reach out to you guys because I've had a couple of you guys ask me about this and it's a pretty good subject to uh, to approach. So um, question is, is about why you, when you plug into certain USB ports, it doesn't connect to the radio or which port do you need to use to connect to the radio? Very easy answer, especially in a Toyota, but um, you know this can you know translate to some other cars as well but uh, obviously i'm going to show you the toyotas here i'm going to show you a rav4 i'm going to show you a highlander i'm going to show you a camry on how it approach or on how it uh, attaches here and it will let you know why it's the way it is all right so first off this is a brand new camry right here um and notice you have your usb port right here that's under the radio and if you pop down here you'll also be able to notice you have usb ports that are right here that you can open and use as well. Well, a lot of times people see these USB ports on the inside and they say, you know what, that's really nice. I'm gonna run a cord and just let it let it sit up here in the cup holder and that's where I wanna put it. Or maybe they put their phone in there and they wanna shut that down there and then they're like, and I wanna play everything from the radio. Or I wanna use Apple CarPlay or I wanna use Android Auto and I wanna do that from the radio. It won't work from the one in the console only going to work from the one under the radio so whether you're looking at a corolla i mean it, it really doesn't matter which one you're looking at if you want to connect to be a usb to your radio you have to use the one under the radio all right so like i said and i'm going to pop out sorry for being a little bit shaky here i'm a little impromptu at this point but um so i'm going to pop out new model rav4 right now there are some, you know, like I said, some of the older ones, they might not have CarPlay, they might not have uh, certain things like that. But what you'll find is that you come in and you're gonna see the exact same thing. So when you pop down here, you're gonna go, look, you've got a USB that is below your radio, which is right there, all right? And then look, USBs inside here, they could be different. Like the other one had the C style, this one does not, right? So if you try to plug in on the inside of your RAV, it won't work. Try to plug in down here, it will. Now, like a 19 RAV4 doesn't have Android Auto, Android Auto, but it does have Apple CarPlay. So obviously if you plug in hoping to get Android Auto, that won't work on a 19 RAV4, but it would definitely work on a 20 and above. So um, those types of things are, like I said, that is something that um, you need to know, of course. So um, they're all a little bit different how they plug in and the location that they plug in. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you a new body uh, Highlander right here, all right? And we're gonna kinda get a little bit close and love each other here. Now the Highlander, it's actually got several that are underneath and what you'll see is you've got one that's a little bit different than the other ones. Obviously these are charge only that's the one that you connect to the radio. So you see this little symbol right here, it's your information symbol uh, for your USB. So you need to be on that one in the Highlander. The older Highlander is the same thing. You have three up front, you'll notice one is a little bit different. That one is the one that connects to your radio. But if you were to um, look in behind uh, this one, so on the Highlander, and I know I'm gonna be a little bit long-winded, I'm trying to get everybody at least an idea but if you look back on the Highlander down here, you've got two ports back here. Those two ports are also only charge only. So if you try to use those ports for uh, connecting to the radio, obviously it's not gonna work. Why? Because it's not set up that way, right? So I'll pop over to a 4Runner here, right? And this is one of the newer body 4Runners. So it's, it's actually got the upgraded radio in it and all of that. So this one's gonna have uh, Apple, CarPlay and Android Auto, but the old one would work very similar as well. So if you pop down here, you're gonna see, boom, this one is gonna be the one that hooks to the radio, right? Um, inside here, you'll see you just have a power outlet, right? So there are some that have more USB ports than others. There are some that'll have one, some that have three, some that have five. Uh, minivans have seven, because um, there's some in the far back. The only one that connects to the radio is the one with that symbol on it or that symbol by it and it will be directly below the radio. So hopefully that's helped you guys out a little bit and uh, you know we'll, we'll see how many of you hate me for making this video too long. But 
I just wanted to show you guys several of them. I know there's more Toyotas out there, but you kind of get the picture. Don't need to go longer on this one. So definitely like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Steve Walsh, uh, Beeman Toyota, beautiful downtown Nashville. You guys have a great day. We will talk to you soon. Bye.